Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today, you will learn how to make the Caesar Cipher in Scratch. Let's get started. First, what even is the Caesar Cipher? Well, it's a way of encrypting data in which you just shift, using a shift code, the letters or numbers in what you're trying to encrypt by a set amount. So it's a fun way, and quite simple way, in fact, to encode data. Let's get started. So. First, we're going to need to know what letters are in the alphabet, because Scratch does not know that. So make a new list called alphabet. Next, go ahead and show that if it's not already, and then add the letters of the alphabet A to Z. So once you have that, we can go ahead and hide the list and go ahead and add green flag click block. First, we're going to need to work on the encoding part because that's what you do first, of course. Make a new custom block, call it encode data. Go ahead and thought screen refresh just in case and hit OK. So now, under that custom block, we are going to want to make a new variable, call it data to encode because we need to know what we need to encode before we can actually encode it. And then when green flag clicked, ask what to encode. And then you're going to want to set data to encode to the answer of that question. Next, under the def encode data block, we need a new variable called shift value. And this is, of course, how many times we're shifting the letter in the alphabet. And then letter hash. Letter hash never, never can get away from us, can it? Next, another variable called encoded value. And this just will be what's actually encoded. OK, so now set encoded value to blank. So just hover over this, click on it, and then click delete. And then set shift value to pick random and make that pick random as big as you want from negative to positive, but I'll just do negative 100 to 100. Nice. So now we need to set the letter hash to one. And then we can add a repeat loop, repeat length of data to encode. So for each letter in this value, we'll run this script. For this, this is the bulk of it. Set encoded value to join encoded, oh, encoded va value, sorry, to item plus, and on this side, on the left side, add item number of alphabet. Instead of that, letter, letter hash of what to encode. And then you're going to want to add that. Actually, before you add it, you're going to want to take this out and subtract it by one. And this is because in the Caesar cipher, uh, A is zero and Z is 25. But in Scratch, lists can't start at zero, so we have to just subtract it by one to get that. And then you're going to want to add that. On the other side of that, you're going to want to add it to shift value, because we're shifting it that much. And then we're going to want to take out all of this that we've done so far. Yeah, all of this we've done so far. Take it all out, but take out actually all of it. 
So just except for that. Take out all of that. Except for that item of, because we can't modify that. Add this to the modification. And then since there are 26 letters in the alphabet, 26. And so now, put that back in. Zoom out, probably gonna need to do that. Put that back in this. But before you do that, add it to one. Because again, in order to do all this, once we modify it, we'll need to go back to something Scratch can read, which is plus one. Might be hard to see, but then put that back into that join block. And so there's that, that's a lot. So I'm gonna take a quick break, and yeah. Guess what? I now have a Discord server. Join using the link in the description, and we'll be able to talk together, you'll be able to share projects, ideas, get feedback, and you might even get a shout out on this channel. Please join using the link in the description today. Also, please like and subscribe. Next, you're going to want to change letter hash by one, and then that's it for that. Except now, so you can actually copy and paste it, add an add to list, make a new list, call it output, and then add encoded value, which is what we encoded, to the output. But before you do that, you're going to want to delete all of it so that if there's anything left over, we don't need to worry about that. So that's nice. Now, if we test this, what's your code? I'll just do something quite simple that you should totally do. And nothing happens. And that's because we haven't called upon the define block. So just add encode data and try again. When green file clicked, I'll just do something simple. That is encoded. We can't see anything yet. So show the output list and that, that's the list. And so now if I show the shift value, we shifted it by 72. And so this is what that is. So that's nice and all, but if we can't decode that, that's kind of useless, isn't it? So now make a new define block, call it decode, run without screen refresh to make it run fast. And then ask, so you can just duplicate this over, ask encoded value. And so this is taking what you copied from here and putting it into this so that it can do its thing. So now you're going to want to set, make a new variable, sorry, call it encoded. Set encoded to answer. And then set shift value to zero as well, because we're going to need to try to brute force this to see what the shift value is, because we don't know what that is. So now repeat 26 times, because there are actually 25, because there are only 25 in this zero to 25 list. Change shift value by one, because no way it's nothing or else you don't need to decode anything to actually fix it. And then make a new variable, call it possible decoded value. Because again, with this, we don't know. We're going to produce 25 possible decoded values, but only one of them is correct. And so we need the person to actually look and see what one's correct, because it doesn't know it. So go ahead and set right here. Set possible decoded value to blank. So just click on it, press delete. And then again, set letter hash to one. Letter hash never leaves, does it? So now, add a repeat loop, repeat length of encoded. And so this is the main loop, which is repeating for each letter in the encoded value. You're going to want to just grab all of this, so we don't need to go through that mess again. And then just replace the encoded value to possible decoded value, and do that for all of these. Sorry if you don't use scratch add-ons, that will be quite tough. And then change data to encode to encoded, and yeah. 
So now that's good, but then behind, under this actually, you're going to want to add the possible decoded value to the output list. And then change shift value by one, but we're already doing that up there, so you don't want to do it double times. And then at the top of this, you just want to delete all of output. So there's that. So now if we were to run this, what to encode? Double click that, command or control C, depending on if you're Windows or Mac. And then nothing happens because we need to actually make it so that we can decode this. So when green flag clicked, add if else, going to into another ask block, ask encode or decode. And then if letter one of answer is D, which means it's decode, then we will want to run the decode script. Otherwise, we will just want to do the normal encode script. So here, if it's not decode, do this. If it is decode, run the decode script. So now that that works, green flag clicked, decode, so decode, and then control or command V, the memory system. I see what I did. It's just I accidentally did alphabet instead of output. So now what I'm going to need to fix is I'm going to have a mess on my hands and need to get rid of a ton of these. So I'll be right back with the power of editing once I finish deleting all of these. So boom, now I'm back and hopefully we've fixed that. I'm almost positive we did that. So green flag clicked, decode, Control or Command V. And so now we have this list. So now you're going to look through this until you find the one that you think is the actual value. If I just look through, I see this. That's what we encoded. So perfect, there's that. So now I'm going to encode some data. And if you can guess and are, or just run this project and you're the first one to say in the comments below what it is, you will win something. You'll find out what it is. Might be a scratch follow, might be a shout out, might be both in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>